one. Hey guys, it's Jasmine Brand from thejasminebrand.com and I am here with TV personality Laura Govan. So really excited, before we get started, please make sure that you share this, you tweet this, you like this, and you comment. And if you have any questions, please leave them below. We just watched a very exciting, um, emotional episode. Uh, Laura was on Ayala Fix My Life. I have tons of questions. I know you guys have tons of questions. But really quick, um, can I just... Can you just sort of give us some background of who you are? Not anything about the episode, but like maybe people that aren't familiar with who you are and what you do and what you're known for. Can you just really quick? Yeah, so I'm Laura Govan. Um, I'm a mother of four. I'm an entrepreneur. Um, I'm an author. I am, um, I have my like TV personality. I think that sounds you've been on a, You've been on a number yeah. of reality shows. Yeah. Not, really, not, not that many, actually. Actually, I have. Oh, you like, have? When okay. I think about it, I'm like, Okay, what have you been on? Yeah, so I've done a couple things. Basketball Wives LA. I've done Nini's Wedding. Oh, you did, yeah. Yeah, that episode. Okay. I did The Next 15. I liked The Next 15. I did Million Dollar Matchmaker. I know that. Yeah. Okay. I did um, I Gotta Fix My Life. Okay. Okay. Uh, you ain't gonna keep up. That's good. Okay, <laughs> so I want to get right into the episode. We just watched it. I'm, I'm over Laura's house. I was like kind of getting teary-eyed a little bit. You yeah, were cool. I cried a little, no, bit. a little bit. I cried. Yeah, a little yeah, bit. Okay, okay, so tell me, first of all, what gave you the? What made you decide that this is something you wanted to do this show with her, or do this episode and kind of expose yourself in this way? Because I feel like this is the first time that people have sort of seen this side of you. Yeah. Well, yeah. As far as like an emotional side, like I've never seen you cry before. Right. And I actually get that a lot. I cry in the shower usually. Okay. I don't ever like to let people see my vulnerable side mm -hmm. but um no I just I felt like it was time and you know like for the most part I'm over it and tired okay and so I wanted it to be the end okay of a new beginning okay so. um what um uh, how hard was it for you to watch I know you I'm here with you so I so how hard for, how hard was it for you to watch this mm, I mean um initially you see it and you think like Okay, oh my God, look at my chin and look at my, oh my Jesus, like the makeup, who did my makeup? Okay. Fire, you know, stuff like that, like hair, oh my God. Right. Like all that, but once you get past that and then, you know, I start watching it and then I, I don't like to watch myself on TV. I would prefer not to, but right. I really wanted to see this, Mommy, this time. Um, huh? They're talking about you upstairs in the, um, the TV. Oh, they're talking about the TV, baby? Yeah. Okay. They're like... With grandma and grandpa. Oh, they're watching it? Okay, that's not good. Okay, I'm going to take care of no, it. No, Dad, you're okay. I know, but Mommy's okay, though, okay? I know, oh, Papa. He's he is, he's mad, girl. Yeah. He don't be like, you see me cry. I don't blame him. Who wants to see him all cry? So this is real time, obviously. You're right. <laughs> this, is, this, is obviously real, right. this is obviously real time. So okay. y'all know my baby's got my back. Okay, yeah. Her um, son just said, Mom, I don't want to see you cry. I'm saying. I know. I'm like, well, y'all supposed to be watching the movie. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. So um, the hardest thing for you to watch was what? What moment on the show? The hardest thing. Well, there. I mean, it's in spurts, and then I, I'm watching it, and I'm like, oh, there's a lot that wasn't put in it. Yeah, let's or, we can talk about you that. You know, too. things like that. Um, but for the most part, it's hard. It's. it's I took myself out of it and became a fan, and then I could really see. I, then that's what made me cry because I could feel the hurt. I could see the pain. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Does that make sense? It does so. make sense. Well, can we talk about your parents' involvement? Oh, yeah. Um, loved both of them yeah. for different reasons. Um, were you apprehensive at all about having them on the show and the episode with you? No, I'm never apprehensive when it comes to my parents. Mm -hmm. One, my dad is like on a thousand of truth. Mm -hmm. Like he don't give a damn who, where, what, how. Mm -hmm. He will always express how he feels. Um, and I love and appreciate that about him. Right. And then you got my mom, who is the same way in a different way. My mom is like, she'll tell you in Spanish, like, they ain't man, a piece of shit, you know? Right. And um, and it sounds different. So, <laughs> same meaning, but it just comes right. out different. And she's more of a lover. Okay. Um, so, the balance is definitely there. So, um, and I like when my parents are, the, you know, I wanted, that was something that I've never, ever shared before. So, it was hard to watch. It yeah. was hard to take that in. Yeah. And then knowing all the things that weren't played or said that actually happened as well. Like it was 
That was a hard pill to swallow. At the end of the episode, I'm jumping ahead just a second, but at the end of the episode, it said that you are not speaking to your parents. Yeah, that's not true. Okay. I, I talk to my dad all the time, actually. Okay. We may not agree still right. on things, but I talk to my dad all the time. Okay. I talk to my mom, too. Like, um, As a matter of fact, something actually happened after I take this. Mm -hmm. And um, a few months later, and... Um, Something happened within the family that was awful, that was terrible, mm -hmm. and I expressed that to my family, and um, it went against everything we just talked about. Okay. It was like I had gave the no on um, my kids going on a trip with my family. Okay. I couldn't go. I told them no. Okay. Come to find out, it was his weekend. He had um, my sister, of all people, go pick my children up from school. Her and her friend, from what I hear, and or did I get the story right, she had her friends pick up my children from school as Gilbert had them dismissed, and they flew to Tahoe. And okay. I had no idea. Okay. Like, and you none. weren't okay with that? Hell no. Didn't I just say no? I'm like, I just told you guys no. That was not okay. That's not what we discussed. And that was an issue. And so it drew me back with my parents. I'm like, we just discussed this. Well, what was your parents' uh, response to you to to you being upset that your kids that they your kids were on vacation with them? Well, it wasn't it wasn't the response that I it, they were more like, well, we didn't want to talk about it. We didn't say nothing to her right then and there. Talking about my sister, we didn't say nothing to them. It's like. What do, you, what do you mean you didn't say nothing to her? I ought to walk through the door with guns blazing. You know, like, no. she. We just talked about this. I'm like, here we go again. You guys have no respect or no regards to what I'm saying when it comes to my children. Okay. On the planet, I wouldn't even do that to a friend or an enemy. I would never go get your kids. Right. I, you said no, bitch. The answer's no. Right. I would never. So it's like it always goes back into what exactly – that's exactly what I was just talking about. Okay, so I was going to ask you, when I was when, uh, watching the episode, the first time I saw you cry was when Ayanla said that you felt like – or you said that you felt like your parents never believed you. Yeah, like they never believed me, yeah. What do you um, – what, so what, is that, what does that mean? What do you mean by that? Like if I were to say something, you know, when it comes to – when they never believe me, what I mean by that is when it comes to my sister. Okay. It's like, oh, they have their parents. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I see, and they're old school. And I see how it's easy. I have four kids. I see how it would be easy to be like protective of one, protective of the other, trying to figure it out. No, that's not true. Trying to placate the whole situation. Right. But no, like now that I have four children and I see the situation, no, we're going to nip this shit in the butt. Everybody have a seat. All of y'all at the same damn time, uh -huh. and we're gonna discuss it. I parent now differently because of that, right? You know, so yeah. That's so you feel he answered. So you feel like when it comes to your sister, your parents don't believe you. Not so much that they don't believe me. I feel like their parenting kicks in opposed to listening or hearing the truth. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, gotcha. Do you believe? And we uh, Ayala talked about this in the episode. Do you believe that? You may have issues with Gilbert or other men because of your relationship with your dad. I feel like now looking at that, yeah, yeah, and I've talked about that a lot since then. Um, yeah, I, I see how that, it's so funny because I used to say that he was just like your father. Yeah, I used to say that. How so? Like what characteristics do you see in the two just of Just in like their demeanor, mm -hmm. control, and you know, mm -hmm. and so I saw that and I... I could I see it now you know and at the time I didn't so much so it's funny how like I fall suit I you know I fell mm -hmm. suit to kind of how um, my mom is with my dad got you and I feel like you may have already answered this but I'm gonna ask it again in a different way what do you think is your biggest issue with your parents um you know what I just feel like sometimes they you know they go where the wind takes them, opposed to parenting. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay. That's fucked up, but it's the truth. I feel like sometimes it's not like, like, I'm a mom. I stand for this, and I stand for it, and I stick with it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? No matter what it is. 
Um, but like for them, I feel like they're kind of just like, you know, well, she, she got a problem. It's eight more of them. You know, we can go rock at their house to hell with her. She got, she got issues, no problem. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Well, on the episode, you talk about a little bit about your issue with your sister. Yeah. And were you apprehensive about talking about that? I mean, that's a big deal, but I guess you've talked about it before. Not so sorta. much. Okay. Like, not so much in honesty. Okay. And the, I don't, I don't even know. Cause I was kind of coming in and out of it, but I don't know if they told how. You know, she stayed at my house in Washington D.C. for three days with him while I was here in L.A. Okay. You know, things like that. There was a Did lot you give that her went on. To do that, you or? think I'm gonna give her permission? No. The answer is no. I would never. Okay. And I would never do that. You know, and that's what she had done. And I mean, and you telling me that you weren't beaten, girl? Bye. You know, so it's like. Did you? You never caught them, but there were clues and signs that something Jay, wasn't right. Come on. I know. I'm just. Come I, on, Jay. But you're, you didn't, and, and you're a woman, right? Okay. Come on. So they both denied it. Your parents don't believe you. They do now. Why do they believe you now? I think that they they know because they actually sat, listened, and understood. And yeah. Is it something that you and your sister? How would you be able to? What's your relationship like with your sister now? I don't have one. I just, I have, my, our children have relationship. That's and that's cool. all I care about. Right, okay. As long as my kids grow up with their cousins, I can care less about the rest. What would it take for you guys to have a cordial relationship? You know what, I'm pretty cordial, especially when it comes to business. I mean, if there's something that we have to do or be in the same room, I'm pretty cool. I don't, I don't go, I'm not extra. I'm not like go out of my way, you right. know. Um, and I build my own platform. I don't, you know, mm -hmm. but... I wouldn't do, even then, I still wouldn't do no business or anything with her. I'm not, I don't hate her. I've forgiven her. I don't hate her. I don't trust her. I just, I, like, if I saw her get in a fight, it's going to go down. Right. Especially you know your sister. Yeah, right. just out of instinct. Yeah. And that's my sister. Yeah. Like, I'm going to drag somebody for her. Yeah. But, <clears throat> I mean, you know, I couldn't say that a year ago, honestly. When, when did this so, you guys were on Basketball Wives together. Basketball Wives, yeah. my, my, LA. LA. Oh, Miami. Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my God, so, yeah. had that happened before? Because well, when did you start getting upset? I just placated it. I just let it go. I just kind of, in my mind, moved on from it. But it's always something that has been a problem for me. Okay. So, you know, it was okay. like, I, I, I was good at putting on the show. And then I was like, wait, what the fuck? Why am I, why am I going a mile? You know what I mean? And no. I'm like, get out of here. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Um, enough of that about the sister. Anything else you want to say about that? No. Okay. Like, listen, at the end of the day, where I'm at today is I've talked about it. I've given it to God. I cannot deal with it no more. I'm done with it. Right. If I see her in the street, I'm still like, hey, what's going on? Okay. You know? And, like, maybe, hopefully, one day we'd be able to be cordial. But trust-wise, no. I don't have any. And I think I hold the grudge so hard of trust. Definitely because of what happened, but also because I loved her so much. You know? Like, I took care of her. And that hurt. I, I cannot stomach that. I, I, like, she was my baby when she was little. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, moving on. Okay. Because I feel like I'm about to tear up, <laughs> and it's not my sister. I don't even have a sister. Um, okay, moving on. Um, it was, it was, everyone was retweeting or commenting about Ayanla saying, next time I see you, dress like a mother, not a reality star. Yeah. So. Where was my comeback? I didn't see the comeback. Because I was like, girl, I had on a church you, bowl but and no, some okay, leather. Okay, so, I was you like, know, what this, are you talking about? The, so, the, it was, the epi it was you know, edited. So, I don't, from what we saw, I don't think you said anything initially. Nah, I, I had think a you whole bunch like of shit this. to say. You look like. Nah, I had hella stuff to say. Nah. <laughs> so, what, what, what is that? What, what do you think she meant by that? And how do you feel about her making that Honestly, statement? Honestly, I feel like at the time, you know what I was thinking when I was looking at her? Like, damn, you just did that for TV. <laughs> I was like, girl, you could say that comment for tomorrow. Wait till you see my outfit tomorrow. That's what I was thinking in my right. mind. Because it was a little conservative. Yeah, I was like, I can't tell you. What are you talking about later? Like, what happened? Like, what I wear? What you see me in? Like, you know, I just didn't understand. So initially, I just thought, okay, that's TV talk. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You right, know how you right, gotta. Right. But um, 
I, I did let her have it for that, though. I was like, first of all, you tell me how a mother's supposed to dress. Right. I said, and second of all, like, clothes don't dictate me as a mom. Okay. You know what I mean? People, some people do say that they feel like women, like mothers shouldn't be, like, maybe shoulder i don't like dress sexy oh, yeah, or yeah. i don't care about that no i, I know i'm just like saying to each its own though. i know but a lot of there are some people that oh, criticize like yeah. well, why don't you put some clothes on you're a mom or whatever so well, you're who gives a damn how you think before i was a mama i got here like right. i'm still a mama right like, here take it you know what i'm saying like well, what you what what are we doing you okay. know what i mean yeah i can't show the titty i was feeding you with like what do you want me to say right you know the areola is a little smaller but you know what i mean what do you want me to do it's like I do whatever I want to do. I dress how I want to dress. Just just because I'm a mother doesn't take away from who I am. I'm still a mother. They still respect me. They right. still listen. You know what I mean? So my clothes don't dictate me as a mom. Gotcha. Period. Okay. Um, switching gears here. Most of this episode was about about the, the drama with Gilbert. Um, you think so? Well, half of it. Yeah. I mean, it started a off good, yeah, good a piece. good chunk, yeah, but and then we, piece. you know, they kind of do delved into your issues with your parents not your issues you know what your relationship yeah, yeah, like, all yeah, that yeah. kind of stuff yeah. so I guess to date this was filmed a while ago what's your situation co-parenting what's the status of your I guess ah, you, you trying to play me right now okay alright alright so as of now um, we don't we still don't co-parent um, okay. I reached out trying to talk to him and trying to co-parent and for whatever the reason he just doesn't talk to me or co-parent with me and um you know I have no ill will for him mm -hmm. I have no I want to host his wedding I want to for free you ain't even got to pay me both you know like I want him to move on and be happy I want him to live I want him to get on with his life you know mm -hmm. and not to say that he hasn't in a lot of ways but he certainly hasn't messing with me you know like, how is he messing with you well, I mean, there's just a lot, you know, there's a lot of court stuff that's mm -hmm. unnecessary. You guys are still going to court. Oh, yeah, girl, yeah. And I thought after the child support, I was like, okay, he's, we're done. Like, I was like, oh, we good. I was like, pound it, bring it in. Wait a minute, what's the child, what, what do you mean? So you guys went to court over child yeah. support, that's done. Yeah, and I thought that that would be the, the hurrah, the last straw. Okay. And I said it to him in court after we, I said, now you can leave me the fuck alone. I said that directly very clear he heard it it echoed throughout the walls and he got it and it got worse <laughs> okay things are very very much so on his end still worse i don't know why so do you think that this is by the way this is the first time i've even talked about this like I, yeah it is that's what i'm saying yeah. it's been months since i have month month almost a year like since i have publicly said anything about him talked about him you know, I want it to be in good light. I want it to be that when our kids see us talk about each other from this moment on, it's like, yo, like, my parents are dope. You know what I right. mean? Yeah, like, yeah. dang, they talk. They, you know, he looks out for her. Ooh. Not like, oh, he does things or he don't pay child support. Like, I don't want that. I don't want that to be the story. Right. You know what I'm saying? But can I ask you, and obviously you don't, I'm in your house. You say what you want to yeah, say. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm you saying anyway. What, yeah. You answer what, if you, it, he pays child support? What? No. <laughs> no, he he gave me an ultimatum actually as of recent. He gave me an ultimatum and Yeah. What does that what does that mean? He gave he, you an ultimatum. He gave me an ult he said that he was not gonna pay me child support. Um But then the court was it It's court? a court okay. order. Okay, but okay, he's this is the things that he does and says like he's trying I said it on TV. Uh, what I said on TV is is happening today. Is happening as we speak um, he's he wants to drown me of money make sure that I have none so that he can have control and he actually sent my parents a text message to send to me about a non-negotiable deal I'm like dude we just got we you just got a court order to pay me child support mm -hmm. so now I have to go through the county I have to pay all you know I have to do all these things he and in in that same note, he he sued me with my lawyer, third party part third party person, and dropped her case, and had and put this all in text message, dropped her, and kept the lawsuit against me. So he's suing you, and then told the lawyer in the in the text message, he says that he told the lawyer to drop me. 
So now I have to go get another lawyer, pay more money, defend myself against him. I'm like, you just brought this frivolous ass thing up against me. I can't pay. I can't afford to pay for it. Like, and you don't pay me child support. Like, we got problems. So why do you why do you think? Okay, just think. Why do you think he doesn't want to pay know. child support? I don't know. Have you guys ever tried to sit down with a mediator? We're past that. You got an order. Mommy? Yes, baby. Isela? Isela can't watch a movie. Andale allá arriba. Andale allí con ella. Come on, baby. Thank you. Go and get your cupcake. <laughs> All right. Andale allá arriba también con ella. Huh, Miley? Andale allí arriba, no puede ganar nada para la cake, Miley. Huh, Miley? All right. Hey, you talking about live? Okay. <laughs> yes, baby. Okay. If you don't take that whipped cream, girl, and get on. It's live. Um, Sorry, guys. She's a mom in real life. <laughs> and Rio, that's another thing. I'm like, this dude. And I don't want to ask. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Andale, mija. I'm sorry. You're good. She's so cute. Little thing. Uh-huh. I don't believe it. Uh-uh, Isela, por favor, andale ahí arriba. ¿Qué quieres, Maya? ¿Qué quieres? Huh? Yes. I didn't call you. Oh, leave your brother alone. Be nice to your brother. Why you look? Why your face look like that? You put makeup on? Stay out of my makeup. That wasn't even in your makeup. Isela, andale ahí arriba. Mira, no puedes sentar aquí. Andale. Andale ahí con ellas. No, no, no. I need my phone, honey. Bye. Go, Maya. Andale ahí arriba. No, tranca la puerta, por favor. Go, Isela. We can't do nothing till you go, girl. Right. Come on, mija. Por favor, andale allá arriba. And be nice to your brother. I'm going to beat you. Aspen, can I watch your thing? Oh, no. You can, I told you not until you're 13. I'll watch you later. <laughs> okay. So, sorry. So, sorry, guys. She's a mom in real life. And they're here. Right. They're active kids, too. They're funny. They're funny. They're hilarious. They're just like, and there's one missing. So imagine I thought, that. Okay. Uh -uh. okay so I back, got other people's kids. Okay. Anyway. So back on topic. So I asked, had you guys ever um, sat down on mediator or plans to or? I mean, no. Like, here's the thing. We got a court order. Let's just follow it and move on with our lives. When's the last time? The when's the last time you got? When's the last time you got child support? A while ago. This year. Yeah. I got okay. It. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, okay. So, what, is there any chance that you and him and Ayala could sit down? I would love that. Uh -huh. And she actually offered that. She said, I would do it on camera or even off camera. She said, it's so bad that I would do it off camera if you need me to. Okay. What do you think, think like him, okay? What do you think his biggest what would he say is his biggest issue with you? What would he say? not think? Not your opinion in there. No, no, what, do you, no, yeah. what, what do you think he would say? I just think he has like a vendetta. Like it's almost like you know, I was with him for sixteen years. I always went back. I always took care of everything. You know, I was that girl. No matter what he did, I went back. Clearly, but the, so now mm -hmm. okay. I'm not. So okay. it's almost like I'm not. There's no control. Okay. You know, like he doesn't have any control. Would he say that? No. Okay. Would he? Would Would he say? He has a whole bunch of opinions. Like he says a lot. Yeah. He He DMs people I know to date. He It's hard for you know anybody I date. He I've I've had pro I've, I've got problems, and I don't say anything. Right. I, that's the other thing is like it bothers me because I don't say nothing, and then when I do, it's like I, it's like. I hold so much in. Like when I watch that Ayala, I'm like, I see how I say nothing. I say nothing. And then it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. And it's like, and then when I wild out, people are like, oh my gosh, she's crazy. It's like, no, I'm like, I'm tired. Right. You know, like even at this point, like I still wish him no ill will. I still wish him the best. I still want to look at him and give him a high five. Yeah. I don't, I don't want nothing bad for him. You know, it's like, I feel like if he's happy, everybody's going to be happy. So how can we get you happy, homeboy? Where can we, let's make this happen to date. Um, do, would, would you ever, it, no. 
don't even please that's no okay all right we've got to say it okay moving on so if 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 you got a chance to because you guys don't talk right no okay so when I see him though, like at the children's game or something, I get him. I always, I always, without fail, you say, "Happy, how are you?" What does he say? And I, girl, he'd be on the other side. Of the, <laughs> he like, walks. Oh. He walks all the way around. And I'd be like, "Damn, did I?" I but y'all have four kids, so how do you guys, um, like, uh, co-parent? Yeah, like how do you guys maneuver? We don't co-parent. We just drop off. It's the school, honestly. Okay. Yeah. What if somebody gets sick or? We try to. Fi I try to figure it out. You should see how that works. That's a. It's a mess sometimes. Okay. But it's what bothers me the most is that. It to me in my mind it's for no reason. I'm like, dude. It no matter what we have going on, and as much as you have done or I have done. Cut it. Hamari, Hamari, mira, Hamari over here. Look at me. Yo, mira me. Upstairs now, please. Sorry, I'm cutting. No, don't drink that upstairs. Okay. See, I just fell. All right. Okay, we're almost <laughs> done. Um, what was your favorite part of this? I'm over the. Anything else you want to say about this? I, it was me asking you questions for the record about yours. It's not like oh. you were. But is there anything else you want to say about that situation before we get off that? No, you know, again, I just want to re reiterate, like, I, I want him to be happy, you know, I want him to, whoever he's with or ends up with, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, you know, I just wish him the best. I do. I just, I, my, my, our, the chapter is closed, you know, okay. and yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, y'all gonna have to figure it out because y'all got kids together. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Forever. Yeah. Um, what was your favorite part of this ex entire experience? Um, getting my voice. Getting my voice out, but not so much. You know what? Like in her arms, I cried like I haven't cried like that in years. Really? Yeah, I hadn't cried like that in years. I was like, if she would have let me go, I'd have just tipped over like a little baby because uh, it was just kind of like, right? Yeah. Like I was. I remember bawling and like, do you see me at one point? I had these lashes on my nose. It was an ugly cry. It was you ugly cry. It was ugly. I, like, <laughs> I said like, I felt like you were praying, like you were talking to God or you something. You know, it's so funny you say that because I was. Like, I was just openly speaking. Mm -hmm. And whatever my feeling or emotion was is what I gave. And what I felt, it came out of my mouth. And um, I remember you guys didn't see it, but there was one lash was like, it was stuck right here. She peeled it off and it was, it was a lot. Yeah, I had snot. It was dripping. It wasn't a tear. It was snot. It oh. was like, yeah, it was running. What, um, what were the tears about? You know, hurt. Yeah, it was hurt. About? Just all of it. Like overall, that shit is hurtful. Yeah. And a lot of things that I've gone through, I wouldn't wish on nobody. Honestly, like I wouldn't wish on enemies or people that I can't stand, you know, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't. I, at this, from this moment on, I just want everybody to live in whatever it is they live in it. You know what I mean? And yeah. be happy in it. Do you feel like, judgment. do you feel like, um, you were portrayed accurately on this episode? I mean, yeah, but there were some things that she said that I was, that I was like, wait, what? Like what? Like now that I'm looking back, I'm like. Um, I want to see if I can think about something. Ask me in a minute. Okay. I'll come back. To um, it. while we're talking, I'm going to be pulling questions. Yeah, yeah. Um, what, is there anything that we didn't see? Um. Yeah, I mean, you didn't see me. I kind of went ham on her when I, uh, when she said about the clothes. Mm hmm And then, um, about me dressing like a mom. And then I let her have it when she said, um. There, there was a couple times that we kind of went, got into it. Okay. Yeah. But uh, for the most part, you know what? I liked it. I yeah. wasn't, yeah, it was, it, it, I feel like there should have been a part two. Yeah, it was a little, I, yeah, I felt like it felt like, a little like, rushed. Because it's almost like, okay, give me more. Okay, wait, what? Right. Okay, wait, huh? Right. You know, like, I know there's more to that. Right. You know what I mean? And right. there was, there was, there was more to a lot of what was already said. And there was a lot of my dad conversation. 
that should have been her too. Because he speaks, he's one of those men who are just like, yo, he's 75. He don't give a damn what you think. I mean, nobody. Lady? <laughs> he don't give <laughs> Right. Lady with his glasses. That little black Santa Claus. He don't give a shit. He be like, yo. Yeah, so I feel like, and he's just naturally funny without trying to be funny. He's, he's, yeah, he's funny. Yeah, he's funny. Yeah. And he's still handsome. Yeah. Ayana liked him. I she could tell. Did. She did. She took to him. She did. Yeah. She did. Especially, they were going back and forth. Yeah, I saw it. But a lot of it wasn't on here. Okay. Oh, he was like digging. He was like, man, you got me. Oh, you meet me outside. How about that? Like. Because she, I think she, cause I, I think she was, she wanted him maybe to take some responsibility yeah yeah and let me can we talk about this before we end um i do want to talk about i feel like um on the show this may be the first time that you like talked about being molested yeah well i, I use that word when you know he was penetrating me it yeah. wasn't just so much being molested molested is like touch and that's still fucking awful right but to have right. someone inside you yeah, yeah it's like assaulted yeah, yeah. and fought fucking violated right you know it took me and it's crazy because i'm not a fucker what do you I mean just, i just i don't like i don't know just out here fucking people oh okay because okay. i st it still plays a big part okay. you know it's t to date and um i'm still very protective of you know me and my body and who i am and right. i feel like although i'm not a loosey-goosey naturally if i wanted to be though i should have that right right you know, without that feeling right does that make sense yeah so for somebody to take that away from me is something I gotta live with for the rest of my life. Although you you know, he's gone on and got married from what I hear and moved on and yeah, I'm like, well shit, you know, no, I got you know, I gotta deal with man problems and figure it out. But for the most part I'm pretty good. So but yeah. So this happened when you were thirteen? No. I told the story when I was thirteen. Oh, okay. Yeah. This happened when I was about eight. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So you've carried that for a while. Uh, yeah. Well, your whole life. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So I feel like, um, cause I was looking in your comments and our comments on our page and a lot mm -hmm. of people were kind of shocked by that and were in tears over it. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very common, it which is. is really, really awful right? because it's like, we're naturally on um, put, you know, as human beings, sexual beings. Right. But I feel like the word no or taking advantage of someone because of, it's all about, it's, you know, most people rape for control and power. Right. Right. Like they don't, they, because you can really pay for sex if right. you want yeah, to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's more so of like a control issue. And I feel like, can we figure out how to target that issue first? in men or women right. there's a lot of women molesters too yeah there are you know what i yeah. mean and then once you get it done to you you just pass it on right and not knowingly do you does that make sense yeah so for me it's like you know thank god that i'm not that girl who has that happened to and then done it right you know what i'm saying yeah. like and but it makes it really hard for me with my children um, where they go, who they're with, how they spend the night, you know, things like that. Like it's, I'm, I'm hard. I'm really hard when it comes to that, you know, and I try to find balance and like letting them live and then not, you right. know, like, yeah. nah, you can't live, go sit down. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's not fair, but you'll understand later, you right. know, and, um, it, it takes seconds to ruin somebody's life. It does. It yeah. takes seconds. Yeah. milliseconds to ruin someone's life especially in the child who has no clue what the fuck is going on and that's not fair so for that you know i spend the rest of my life in jail for that so right so i'm hoping that by you telling your story about that situation that maybe it will inspire someone to talk about it and sort of deal with that because it's, it's something that's so common and i feel like you should do something like I feel like Thanks, you should. Jay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm pressure on, on you. Yeah. I mean, because this—I mean, it's something that is so common Ooh. and it happens. And, it's so real. Yeah, and it affects us like in different areas and stuff like that. Yeah, so. and men and women. A right. friend, a good friend of mine who is who's gay told me he was like that played a big part. Right. You know, I was molested by my cousin, and I was molested by my uncle, and 
I had to do things with them. And I, I've never been with a woman since. And I was like, uh, what am I supposed to do with that? Right. But it's the truth. Yeah. So imagine that being stripped from you because, you know, like whatever your preference is, is what it is. But to feel forced into that mentally, that's not okay. Right. You know, the pressure of that is awful. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, before we go, I have a few random questions. Yeah, hit me. Um, are we dating? Yeah. One person or are we? So, I sleep with one. <laughs> I'm with one. I'm with one. Okay. Mm. Um, but, yeah, I, not that I like. Yeah, again, I'm not a fucker, so I'm not. But you know what? I always end up being the homie without having sex with that person. Mm -hmm. It's either they end up hating me because I didn't sleep with them or they end up just being my good friend. Okay. And um, I, I get that. Uh, both all the, equally the same. Okay. Um, but I feel like I've had, I've had relationships with people and men because of, you know, because of the way I am that are really, really good mm -hmm. um, as far as friendships. But, um, yeah, dating... Yeah, I mean, is it somebody famous again? I'm a, I'm assuming so. No, no, it's not a regular person. Yeah. Okay. Do and I mean, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> would you? Would we, if it? If it? You know, if it continues on, would you let us know who it is? Like, will you put? Will you be on Instagram with them, or are you gonna? Or are you no. gonna keep it? You gonna keep it low? Yeah, I'm gonna. If they were gonna find me, that's so messed up. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Ha ha ha. Um, no. See, that's why you about to be. <laughs> no, right, right, right. That's why he's gonna come with his memes. Right. And, it's about to be another uh, meme. No, nah, that was. Just, yeah. See, I want to be able to joke like that. Later. Later. We're not Later. there. Yet. Yeah, Later. we got there. Yes. My bad, my bad. See, I'm there. No. I'm so yeah. there. It's not about you, right? Now. I know. I know. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. But anyway. Any maybe, maybe we'll see. Okay. Um. Any more reality TV? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. I, I like reality TV. I, 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 I love I it. it. Yeah, even like drama, no drama. You know, I feel like there's just a story to be told. And if you're interested, you're interested. And if you're not, you're not. Okay. Are we but, what, what, Are we working now? Or is it... Or what, are yeah, you I'm always working. I'm, a, I'm, oh, I'm open. No, I'm not... I'll talk about reality TV thing. Hold on. Well, I'm going to get to that. But I'm talking... Get the hint. Oh, oh. No, I got it. I got it. No, I'm always working. I got my accessory line, uh -huh. shopping real But hold life. on. Hold on. Before you talk about this. So... Is there anything going on in terms of reality TV right now, or not yet? I mean, I've done a couple shows, okay. um, uh, but yeah, I mean, I look honestly, I feel and know that like I'm gonna end up doing a TV show with either my family, with my kids, okay, me, um, like you know, it's like I know, I know, I know what TV's about. Yeah. you know what I mean. So it's easy for me to do it. Okay. Um, reality, yes, I like reality. I think if the story is told correctly, and I'm just not gonna. I would never be talent. No, absolutely not. So you're not gonna be on the show? No. I, oh, I but you look. Yeah, gonna... exactly. Okay. Yeah, it's different now. I'm not just gonna go on there and be like, you know, getting okay. paid like. No. I but yeah, yeah. So, but outside of that, yeah, I'm. Yeah, definitely. I'll do it again and can't wait to do it. And I know it's going to happen. And But I'm also doing scripted TV. I just um, start my acting classes I get back up again on Tuesday. And, oh, cool. Yeah, so I'm back in it. And, okay. So and you're so, doing auditions, you're going to test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take yeah. Classes. And, okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, so accessory line. Yeah, so I have Shop in Real Life. Um, that's actually been doing really, really well. Um, you know, this has been a blessing for me. Mm -hmm. I had no interest in accessories at all. Like, selling what? I'm like, girl, buy clothes. I just didn't have the interest. Although I'm in fashion, right. you know? I just, I, there, there was no interest to sell it, okay. if that made any sense. Right. But becoming an entrepreneur, um, it made me, you know what it was? This is what it was. I'm going to do something else besides digging this man's pocket. <laughs> Although, he could take care of his kids. I'm, I'm going to help you help me. Like I'm, I'm. Let me do me too. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, let me take care of me. Right. And that's where I'm at. And I and this and it does well. And it does really well. But going back to that, I just need, you know, he be taking my money with the levies and the, and the lawsuits. I'm like, oh god. And but, this is a nice, big, glamorous house. It is. Thanks. It's let nice. Me tell you something. No, no, no. Let me tell you something. Let's no. This is I, a nice house. Let me tell. No, this is this is yeah, okay. and it's comfortable. You and it's a I big love? old dog outside. Yeah, you can hear him. Yeah, that's my baby. He is going. Yeah, but let me tell you something. 
I could live, I should live in a two bedroom apartment. Them kids sleep with me every day. I'd be like, come on y'all. Uh -huh. But this is not my home. This house is for my kids. Uh -huh. They live here. I feel like I'm their servant. You know, uh -huh. they be like, they don't care if I cry, come in with lashes. <laughs> Girl, they will take their mugs off for me at the door and be like, yo, spaghetti. Yeah. Um, and then one will be like, no, tacos. Shit. You know, so I'm over here chef it uh -huh. and trying to run a line and try and you know What's so cool is that I even got my kids into Packaging and selling and oh cool. Yeah, they it's love like it. They help me pick out the girls help me pick out stuff The boys right. will package and write labels and right. anything. We just do stuff together, but um, I needed something to do I need to get off my ass and not be a, a you know, it's nice to be a, a stay-at-home mom Especially if you get the luxury of doing it. Yes, right. of course, but it's also nice to show my kids. Like, my daughter was like, Mom, I want to start my own line. I was like, oh, shoot. You know, it yeah, makes me. That's cool. It's like, yeah, like, I'm doing something right, you know? Yeah. I shouldn't have to work as hard because yeah. having four children, a business, a single mom, you know, still with no help. And it's, the burden is on me. It's hard. It's yeah. really, really hard. Yeah. And I don't understand why yeah. things can't be as simple as in my mind I feel like they should be. Yeah. What's the biggest uh, misconception about you? Um, I mean, besides that, I'm a gold digger, bad mom, and not, <laughs> I cook bad. Like, <laughs> how, where else can we go? <laughs> like, I dress like a slut. Like, what else? No, I'm just kidding. Um, I would say, yeah, like, I, my, maybe people think about my parenting skills because here's what, you know what? This is what I want to tell people, period. You look at a photo in judgment, a photo that literally i will get dressed and i mean this on everything i love jay i will get dressed head to toe put some clothes on go outside right here right here right you see that front mm -hmm. take pictures walk back upstairs take my face off and go to bed and i get that you initially think but now i do things i'm selling something yeah. i'm working now but it's very glamorous you know what I'm, so I'm on your instagram it's very glamorous thank you so, I mean, I could, even like at the beach, you would think I was in Dubai for like a thousand days, and I li we literally were we weren't there that long. It was a week, and I only travel when he has them. Uh huh. When I'm he, looking at I'm, I don't, I'm looking at your IG right now. As yeah, think no, I'm, no, no, yeah. yeah. It's very glamorous. It is. You know what else too? I don't incorporate the children anymore because I cannot live with somebody judging my kids. I'd be yeah. like, I'm not there. I'd yeah. just be like, no, because I, I will that. text somebody, DM them, meet, meet me in at here, Ralph's no, up the street. Yeah. I'd be like, look, yeah. we we right here, okay? Meet me right there. Um, anything? Oh, can we talk about this whole episode on the doctors? Oh yes, yes, please. So here's the thing. Look, women, mothers, bodies change mm -hmm. when they have kids. Period. Mm -hmm. Women's body change as they get older, as things grow, as things grow, everything happens. Body starts to change, right? My body changed, my body formed. And you know what's so funny that people are like, oh my God, now she just got yeast rolling all in her cooter. People don't know what a yeast infection is, I think. Listen. Everyone doesn't. Listen, if it's not... Hold on, can I, really quick, because we, yeah. we, we, we're dragging this out and I know I have to <laughs> cut this, but I just want to give a backstory. So, Laura was on the doctors and she said that before she had a... Uh, chronic yeast infections, right? Where you was having yeast infections back yes, then, like on a yeah. regular basis. Yeah, yeah. And then she changed her diet. I changed then, my diet, I changed my panties. I changed yeah, the damn... So she, so, so she changed She what's changed. What's the pad it? in the middle? What's the thing? What's panty liner. Panty liners. Yeah. I stopped so, wearing them. Yeah, so she changed it. We probably were one of the first ones to do the story about you being... You said something shitty? No. We, oh. The thing is, we said what you said. Oh, okay. But okay. so... So everyone was like, oh my God, she's talking the about... The first thing you saw was yeast. And you're like, uh, you didn't read the rest of the shit. It right. talks about candida. Yeah, and, so so yeah. that's the backstory of me asking her to talk about this whole appearance on the doctor. So anything you want to say to clear that whole situation up? I don't know. Ooh, I don't know. The people I know what yeast infection is. There's nothing to clear up. Okay. Like a yeast infection is, you know... Quite common. Like, yeah, it's super... Ooh. Men get it. Men get it and it goes in their chest and they don't even know it. Okay. How about that? I didn't and, know that. I know what yeah, I mean. I've, I've had yeah, infections. and it comes in all kind of places. But see, and that's the thing. Like, don't shun away from it. You know what's so funny too? The ones who are the ones who are like, oh, you. St oh, now you could. It doesn't have to do with smell. That's, and I said that too. I said you don't run around smelling like a salmon coquette, right? Because that's not what yeast is. Right. It's just a imbalance, and then a bacterial infection can follow. Now that can smell. Fist, 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> now that can smell. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. And But that's not even like a STD or this or that. That's not that either. Right. You know, Ooh. it's more of um, an imbalance in your body. And every single person on the planet can get it. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I don't babies, know any babies can get yeast infections. Yeah, I don't know any woman that hasn't had a yeast infection before. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm like, did I just say like something that don't even make sense? <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. Okay, so um, can you talk about your podcast with. It might not. Oh, big. Oh, yeah. Me and Big Boy from 92.3, who happens to be a good friend of mine. Um, he and his wife and his family and our children play together all the time. Mm -hmm. um, we have a podcast come in, so please look forward to it. Okay. It's going to be week, what is it gonna, weekly. Yeah, or? so we're working out the kinks okay. and trying to figure that one out. Um, so it's going to be that? you? I guess you guys got so much good response from your interview when you were on the interview speaking yeah. about, and it just kind of went further. So yeah. So Lo so Laura did an interview on Big Boy. Yeah, ninety two three. It was a great feedback, and because of this, yeah. I guess it turned into this yeah. podcast that's coming. Yeah. So the and I'm pretty honest, and that is what also drew it. Like, look, like I am. Uh, that's another thing that I, a lot of people don't get from me, like my honesty. I am. Yo, if I talk about yeast or fungus or whatever in the toe or a booger in my nose because I like to pick my nose, Ew. don't stop. Let me tell you something. When I got long nails, I used to get one kind of short just so I could. Oh, cause my gotta, God. Because I like, I like to pick in my nose. That's just why? my thing. I just do. I don't know why. I like it. That is so disgusting. But it is what it is. So you just But at least you are yourself. Yeah, I don't dig in my nose. If I have to blow my nose, I blow it. But I don't. Oh, that's so whack. I but don't. Yes. Because what are you going to do with it? Grind it you, up and. No, just, yeah, and you can flick it. No. Not in your house. But you can flick it. Oh, you get a napkin. That's when you get a napkin. No, I don't. When I go on my nose, it's because I got to blow it. It's not because. See, that's that's dumb to me. I want to pick it first and then I might blow it. Oh, my like, gosh. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, anyway. <laughs> this, is the, this is the type of. Yeah, so we talk about, yeah, I'm just naturally just an open person. Yeah. I feel like I got one life to live. I'm not hiding shit from you. There's some secrets that I'm going to keep to myself. Yeah, well, but yeah. also there's just things that, you know, I'm not afraid to talk about. So know? on the podcast, it's going to be you and Big Boy? It's going to be me, Big, and like, we'll have guests, okay. of course. You'll have me on, of course. Yes, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> For, yeah, you caught me, girl. Yeah, you yeah, caught yeah. me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, is yeah. anything else? We, I feel like we've been here forever. Is anything else we need to talk about before we leave? Have we covered everything? No. Did we cover everything? Yeah, y'all go shop yeah. in real life today. Is that the website? Yes, it's shoppingreallife.com. Okay. Okay. Your lifestyle site. Yes, yeah, I'll go to my lifestyle site. What is this? What is your lifestyle site? It just shows just like uh, how I work out. No. Uh, what What is the URL? Oh, like, oh, oh. What is it? Ellen Govan. Dot com. LMGovan.com. <laughs> Go to it. Check it out. Um, I'm going to relaunch the shop in real life. Actually, I've been working on some really good pieces with someone from China. And um, where I have a manufacturer also, as well as I go and get it, you know, from somewhere else. But, um, yeah, I have really good things coming. Okay. So... Okay, cool. I feel and like we, clothes and you guys and check it out. and fitness and fitness for sure. Okay, although I, I do take breaks and I haven't worked out in a while. Um, but make no mistake, I still got this one or two. What's it? One and a half six. Pa oh, yeah, look, one, one and a half pack. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Okay, so um, thanks so much for inviting us to your home. Myers in the background. What is he doing back You guys, there? thank you so much for listening, <laughs> tuning in, and watching. Um, yes. I really do appreciate you guys allowing me to be myself, be who I am, um, taking the time with me to actually listen, um, and understanding who I really am. I really appreciate it. We have to do this again. This won't be the last time. Yeah, it'll no, be no more doubt. Upbeat. It would be less yeah. tears offline and all that. That was a lot of tears. It was though. a lot of tears. Yeah. So you can follow um, us on uh, the Jasmine Brand on Twitter, at the Jasmine Brand on Instagram at the Jasmine Ray underscore and Laura your Instagram is but all, all my stuff is the same Laura M Govan okay Instagram Twitter snap oh I'll be snapping y'all should hear me sing oh, okay bye guys bye.